3.12 practice problems. The first two questions are based off of the information given below. Uh, the diagram above represents the photoelectric effect for a metal, where the metal surface is exposed to light with increasing frequency and the energy of photons, uh, electrons, first begin to be ejected from the metal when the energy of the photon is equal to 3.3 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Which of the following is closest to the frequency of the light uh, for the photon energy of 3.3 uh, times 10 to the negative 19th joules? So we need the relationship between uh, frequency and uh, energy. And so that is going to be that the energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency and um, we need to rearrange for frequency, so we will divide our uh, energy by Planck's constant, that will give us our frequency. So 3.3 uh, uh, times 10 to the negative 19th divided by Planck's constant, which is uh, 6.626 uh, times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds, which uh, gives me uh, 4.98 times 10 to the 14th, and um, I only get two sig figs, so this is going to round to 5.0, then I just need to make sure that I am uh, choosing the exponent that is correct, that is going to be uh, times 10 to the 14th, and then my unit for uh, frequency is per second or hertz. Using the wavelength information provided above, what color is that light? So this is uh, specifically giving us the frequency and we need the wavelength. So the uh, equation is going to be that the uh, speed of light is equal to the uh, frequency times the wavelength and uh, so we need to solve for wavelength, so we will uh, go ahead and have the speed of light divided by the frequency uh, gives us our wavelength. So the uh, speed of light that we are dealing with is uh, three times 10 to the eighth, and then we will just be dividing it by our frequency here. Um, that is going to uh, originally, unfortunately, give it to us in uh, decimals, we need uh, this to be in, uh, this is in meters, we need in nanometers, which means we're going to move the decimal over nine times. So that's going to give us 602 nanometers. And uh, the 602 gives us the color of orange. A student uses visible spectroscopy to determine the concentration of uh, cobalt to chloride in a sample solution. The first student prepares the sample of cobalt to chloride uh, solutions of known concentration. Then a student uses a spectrophotometer to determine the absorbance of each of the standard solutions at a wavelength of 510 nanometers and constructs a standard curve. Finally, the student determines the absorbance of the sample of the unknown concentration. A wavelength of 510 nanometers corresponds to approximately a frequency of 6 times 10 to the 14th hertz or per second. What is the appropriate energy of one photon of this light? So I don't need any of this information from the top of the question. I just need to go ahead and convert the frequency to energy. So energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. I want to know what the energy is. I don't need to rearrange. So I can just go ahead and uh, plug that in. So Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the uh, negative 34th, and I am multiplying that by my frequency of uh, 6 times 10 to the 14th. Oh, sorry. Um, and um, I end up with uh, 3.97 times 10 to the 19th um, 
I only get one sig fig from the six times 10 to the 14th. So this is gonna round up to four times 10 to the negative 19th. And then my energy unit is joules. So that is it.